What's up? Let's see how far Brian got. How far did you get, Brian? Far. Like, over there. Get out of here. Perfect. Let's yeah. see. Let's go check this job out. Me, I have been uh, hitting the bathroom up so, damn, so many times. Something's going wrong with me. But we're doing gutters. We're going to check out this gutter job. Let's see. Okay. Alright, we got to rinse them out still. Wait, what's that? Nothing. Nothing's time. Had trees growing in there. Let's see. On to this next. We'll get some water. We'll get some water down. You did these right here? But okay. What you want me to do to that corner? What corner? You got stuff in the corner. Pull it out. Oh, you talking about this? Yeah. Pull it out. What you want to leave it there? No. Because I could put my letter right there. You can. Just move this. I know you want me to No, you can move all that. Get out. Of right, wait, actually, I could probably reach up there and pull that out. Looks pretty good. Nobody home today. And you did all these? Hey, Brian, you smashing out today. I'm on this one right there. Okay, we got a hose here. I ain't touch, I ain't do that. That don't look that bad. Let's see. All right. You get that, I'm gonna get the hose going, all right? right. So, basically when it slows down, after the grass stops growing, for anyone in lawn care, we start doing other things besides leaves. And that's blowing off houses, the roofs, and gutters. Gutters is a pretty decent little gig. I do it in the springtime. And I do it in the summertime. Really? I do it anytime they need me to do it. Yeah, these gutters are pretty bad. So, uh, I'm gonna get all these, all this weed whack too. I'm gonna weed whack all this down. Cut all this down. Everyone's here, we're gonna cut down. She don't need none of it right now. So, it was just a quick little view. Brian, got Brian with me, helping me. Uh, Bob, I know you're watching, but you're crazy, but you, you hate all my videos, but for some reason you watch all my videos. I appreciate that. That's like a love-hate relationship. And I'll be over to, uh, to uh, take care of your leaves. So, thanks for watching. And for as long as everyone else, thanks for watching. But I gotta get back to work. We got a lot, we got a lot to do. It's getting cold out. Um, yeah. Let me just get to work. Stop talking. All oh, this gotta be cut down. The Japanese maples. Looking good still. But if you guys do a house like this, this is the house we're doing. And I only charge her $75 for her gutters. And you guys kind of had an idea of how much gutters for cleaning is because I walked around the house just a minute ago and you could see them. So I only charge her like $75 for these gutters. Um, I'm going to have to get on the house um, to clean them out so we can reach them all. And it's just too wet to blow out. So we got to get our hands in there and all that nasty slimy gunk out which you can see there's trees and grass and all sorts of stuff growing in there but a job like this 75 bucks i don't really charge too much and uh if i'm charging too little anyone on youtube man let me know hit me up let me know what's up with uh if you think the price is too little go get that corner you might as well get that corner and just get it out you got the ladder just get it so I'll be back over here to uh, to get these leaves when the leaves start falling more. But right now, I'm not going to waste my time getting these leaves picked up because there's nothing on the ground. 
and I don't come out here weekly for her leaves. She also has uh, this garden right here. Something else we want to get. We might attend to next summer. This might be a little project. She wants to get this garden up and running. But tell you the truth, I have no clue where to start because it's just a lot of nothing. I think we should just tear everything out, side the bushes. You can see the bushes already trimmed a little bit, but I think trim, cut all this out, trim everything, till it all up, start fresh. It's all up to her what she want to do. Brian, so are you almost done? And how much? How long you think this took you? It took me like 15. Like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. He did this whole house, and that's like that's a quick 75 dollars. So you know, there's there's easy money you can do in the in the fall when the grass isn't growing. It's just you gotta go out there. and You gotta hunt for that work. You gotta look for that work. That work is not gonna fall in your lap. Um, it's been very slow for me. I mean, I've have not had that much work in the past three or four weeks. It's been pretty bad. But I'm just waiting for these leaves to fall so I can start doing it. But also, a lot of side jobs. I uh, spent $200 on a commercial for placemats at the store. I like the restaurants at Burger King and McDonald's and uh, American Grill, Olive, Art, Olive, Gard Olive Garden, like just all them places. And I really haven't had a big hit on any of them. But I think next year I'll see it because I remember passing out flyers and I didn't get much hits on my flyers and then the following year people were saving my flyers talking about can you come cut my grass. So I'm going to look to see what happens next spring and see if I get it. Make sure when you guys uh, do your properties and get calls, you guys uh, ask them like, hey, how do you guys hear about me? That way you can have an idea of um, what sales and marketing is working. If they'd be like, oh... Just somebody told me about you, that's word of mouth, or we seen your work, or you just be like, we seen a placemat, we got a flyer, then you have an idea of what's working and what's not working, and then you're not wasting your time doing stuff that's not, you know what I'm saying, you're just not wasting your time. But, I gotta get to work, I get all this cut down, talk to you later. Triple D, I'm out. Brian, say see you too. Say, see you, YouTube. See you, YouTube. He say, see you, YouTube. All right, we out.